applied for. All right. All right, gather up. Mag, mags. Meyer. All right, get your mags out. After you've been checked, empty mag and your empty gun. No more. Do you want a mag and an empty mag in our gun? Well, if you don't have one on you, don't worry about it. I got an extra empty one, Matt, or Vince, you need it. Where is it, Kevin? It's in the truck. Okay, all right. It's not here, it's in the truck. All right, everybody good. All right, gather up, then. All right, here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and uh, we'll go two guys on each ATV. We'll start doing the window drills. We'll come up with two ATVs at a time, and the windows rotate out each time. Remember, get as close as you can to the... Um, to the bus. Don't draw your weapon till you've cleared the, uh, till you've come to a stop, and then make sure you're not sweeping the guy in front of you. All right, driver will stay in position. The other guy, when you draw that weapon, make sure you're not sweeping the guy in front of you. Extend that weapon all the way in through the window, and then dominate that space that way. Rotate each time. Everybody driving the ATV? Okay, so we can rotate each time that way. After we do that for a while, that looks good. Then we'll do the same thing working the entries. We're a four-man helmet comes up, everybody bails off, moves into the uh, uh, bus, and then we'll do them both together. And then uh, maybe at the very end there, we'll throw a bang just for realism. As we come in, we'll figure out who's going to do that. Probably the fourth guy going in the bus will pull the pin, throw the bang, and then be able to get into that entry element at the same time. We'll see. Everybody good? Sure. Questions? Fire them up. How's it going? How's it going? You're out of here. Good. Everybody on? Yep. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. All right, good. All right, go on back there and then hold. Hold. We're going to start working the entry stuff now. It's not really, the driver's a good is a good position the rider just kind of hanging on coming to that quick stop we got to keep the keep the vehicles really tight together in order we get you know get there at the same time and then uh riders got to hold on we got to come to a really hard stop the riders got to hang on and get up it's a little it's a little slippery but not too bad what they're going to do is they're going to come right up to the entry point there and they're going to go make entry onto the bus this is the entry element now okay. being brought forward by atvs okay you want us at an angle yeah like this, because you're going to have to get those other two later. They're coming in right here. Ready? Very good. Very good. Going to fall. All right, good. Good. Guys, listen up. If by chance I got here and I'm going on the bus and I don't have my gun out of my holster because this happened to Danny, okay, it happened to Danny too, I'm not going on the bus. I'm either going to step out of the way and let somebody that's got their gun out go, or I'll hold everybody up. Probably the smartest thing to do is just step out of the way. You know the first guy, what he's got, second, third guy, fourth guy. Don't go on the bus with the gun in your holster. Okay, out of here. Very good. All right, good. That was good. That was good. All right. Let's go on back here. We're going to combine them, but you guys are going to be the entry element. Okay. We're going to combine them. I'll leave you guys the entry element. I think it's just a hair quicker coming off those bikes and stuff. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Good job. Good job, everybody. That's good. You're out of here. Good, good. Let's do one more. Let's do one more of those. Keep us all day if you want, man. Do one more. 
And I think that you get paid for this, too. Okay, good. I like to do these things in sections. We'll work the window first. We'll do that for a little bit. Then we're going to use the pickup to work the windows. We'll have guys in the back of the pickup truck come alongside and work in the windows. And then we'll incorporate and we'll do the uh, entry element. And then we'll do both. We'll have the SUV bring the entry element. We'll have the pickup bring the window guys. And now we're using two different types of vehicles to bring the, uh, the uh, takedown team up to the conveyance. Get up there, Vince. Get up there, Vince. Good, you're out of here. You see you got uh, an SUV here equipped with some running boards on each side and the back. Uh, aftermarket stuff that was made by these guys and uh, allows them to carry six operators to a location quickly and uh, they can get off those vehicles quickly where the old-fashioned way of coming by the SWAT van, um, the guys would still be trying to get out of the back of the SWAT van. It's a whole lot quicker way to move some people a short distance right here. Yeah, Hurricane Andrew, you know, you had to do a lot of different things. SWAT van uh, couldn't even move, so uh, due to damage, plus didn't have the ability to go over bumps and things uh, in the road. Found out those four by four trucks, put four SWAT operators in the back, do a lot of work real quick. There you go. Good. Good. Good, good, good. Is that yeah, we're good. Good job. There you go. Get in there. Good. That's where you're going to want to be. Pick up trophy right there. Good. Good. Let's do it again. Good. Hands up, heads down, 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 good, good, all right, let's do it again, good job. Let's take a short break and then we're going to do the vehicle stuff. When we come to a stop, remember the commands, stopped, okay? When you get to extricate the victim, secure, that means everybody stop doing what they're doing, get back in the vehicles. All in means we got our feet inside the vehicles, we're not going to get run over. And then you should back out abreast just like you did coming in. We'll do it stationary a couple times, make sure everybody's good to go. Here's the positioning. Vince exits the car, he's got the front. So he's covering the front with his muzzle. I stay in the driver, right? No, you exit. You exit. You got the front. You got the left flank, Vince. Right. You're a rescuer. You're a rescuer. You're a rescuer. Rear guard. That's why he's got the long gun. You got the front right. You got the right flank. And then we should be covered 360 degrees, be able to get this victim out, in this case one victim, and go for it. I'll tell you to execute when we're doing this dry. Don't forget, keep those back doors a jar, but hang on to him when he stops, when we start going, so you don't spring the door locks. All right, here we go. Jump in there. Execute! There you go. That looks better. In that vehicle. All right. All 
right. All right. You ready to do it on the move? All right. We're going to do it on the move now. a victim rescue so the guy that's being dragged from the car so to speak is a victim not a subject uh, so he wouldn't be handcuffed their their goal there because that guy could be unconscious and might even be already expired so they're removing that uh, victim from the problem in this case as an example we'll talk as a civil disturbance putting him in the safe vehicle the police vehicles and then leaving uh, and the other vehicle takedown where the uh, subject was taken from the vehicle. He was put on the ground, and then if we continued the scenario, he would have been handcuffed there, and then searched, and and then eventually taken from the scene. So the the urgency of removing the person from the scene depends on whether it's the subject or whether it's a victim, and also whether we're looking at a hostile crowd situation or we're in a hostile environment. Uh, if we're in a hostile environment, both of those would have been removed rather quickly because we don't want to become victims ourselves. We're going to do a mobile hostage rescue takedown as if a vehicle was in motion and then we'll use this uh, pickup truck to be a blocking vehicle for the police. They'll block that vehicle. We'll have another vehicle make contact in the uh, right rear, which kind of pins that vehicle in, uh, hopefully. And then uh, we'll have two takedown teams, a total of eight operators moving to secure the vehicle. M uh, mobile hostage rescue. Driver stays with the vehicle. That blocking vehicle will be occupied by two operators and a shield to protect themselves from any shooting coming from the front. We use a heavy vehicle. They'd actually be making contact up there. Can't do it in training uh, this class. This vehicle will be making contact here, try to help pin this vehicle in. If this vehicle is either stationary or at a slow speed, this vehicle will have a gap between it because we've got to send some operators uh, through this gap to move on the vehicle. Execute! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Oh!